Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to Izumo in Golden Sun, the Lost Age. Last time, we conquered the Fire Guardian in the Yampi Desert, and this time we're heading for the domain of... I'm pretty sure it's the Wind Guardian, but you know, we'll see when we get there. Anyway, where we're going is somewhere we have been hearing t talk about for as long as we've had a boat, pretty much, and possibly since before then. Uh... I think this is it. Right here. We could have come here and done stuff as soon as we had grind. And we could have completed the whole thing as soon as we got Isaac's party. We didn't do that. And there are some very good reasons for having not done so. Among them being that it just would have taken for freaking ever to get here. From over here. I mean, come on. But also... But also because I think this is probably the third hardest boss in the game. The boss of the game is harder, and the final guardian is the hardest. But out of the, outside of those two, it's this guy. Welcome to Treasure Isle. Well, that's kind of interesting. Also, uh, no, whoops. I want to just... Okay, all my genie are set now. That's good. I think all these might actually be... Well, that's not empty. That's a lucky medal. Really? Maybe I should have come here right at the beginning. Just to get that extra lucky medal. I am not going back to the, the metal fountain. It is... I find it a sad state of affair when the best possible grab is a freaking water of life and potions from the Lucky Metal Fountain. That's just kind of sad. So, the first- since we could have come here earlier than the previous two, I expect the enemies here to actually be easier than those previous ones. However, much of the best loot is here, and as previously stated, I think the boss is probably the it's, I think it's probably harder than the previous two. Although, admittedly, that might be a uh, misremembering on my part. I bet all of these are empty. It is Treasure Isle, after all. The easy ones are obviously going to be empty, but as soon as we hit this button... And now you know why we needed grind. <laughs> because... Uh, who the hell has grind? No. Uh. Oh, here it is. Hmm. So obviously we need to get over there while this thing is up. And we can't go through there yet anyway, so we may as well leave it up. And go this away. I don't know if we could have done everything here with just grind, actually, I should say. But we could have done a lot of it. Okay, uh, I want to be over here. I mean, I need to hit that onto the switch, but I can't reach it yet. But I can do it this way, I guess. Mm. I mean, I see a bit of a flaw here. Sure, the thing is up, but I need to grind it to get over. Oh, I know what I can do. If I move it like this, then I can move it on. Grind! And move! It just endlessly goes up. More and more and more. There's an endless amount of rock underneath. Why not? Hmm. Still, actually I think the grind puzzles are probably some of the more tricky ones in this game. But they're also some of the more memorable ones. Like, this is the sort of puzzle that is a little trickier to cerebral thinking to figure out. But once you have figured it out, it takes a lot less fit further figuring. 
Okay, well, I want the box, so I probably want to go this way. Uh, yep, that was a good call. Although, it looks like I'm going to need to go on to the far left in order to actually progress. Uh, yes. Well, not entirely, actually. The, ooh, okay, what does that do? Raises PP. It's actually weaker than what Jenna's wearing, but not what she was wearing. What the hell is Jenna wearing? Um, no, that's a ring. A really good ring, but a ring. Spirit gloves. 40-20. 39, 30. Okay, well this is better on Shiba anyway, because she can use the extra PP. More than she can use the extra attack power, that's for sure. Um, okay, uh, seriously? Wow. Just wow. Okay then. I mean, I think those crafting gloves are actually still really kind of amazingly good. But also, they are not really the most defensive thing. Anywho, let's push that there. Then hop back around. I guess I could go down the middle, but this way I don't need to do extra grinding. And the animation for that, I think, would probably make the middle the shortest route in this context. But now I can go this way. And do this. Hmm. Actually, I co totally could have just pushed it and then jumped over, couldn't I have? That was a total waste of time! Ha ha ha! Oh, that's great. I totally outthought myself there. Totally. Oh, okay. I guess I I guess there was still another mimic left. Go there. We'll just have to kill this one as well. Yep, one round. Total non threat. Power bread isn't cool though. We are gonna use that. Oh no, HP? Okay, uh. Chiba. Okay, uh, what's down here? It's the entrance! Awesome! I can probably get those boxes now. Which will be nice. Yes, I can indeed. It's up. So it stayed up. That's good to know. What is even in all these? Cookie! I don't know if I want to eat something that was stored in this place, but you know, whatever. A rusty axe. The I, as far as I know, that's the very last rusty we fought. And guess what? I'm pretty sure it's not cursed either. So you know, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, she's most dedicated to using healing, but it probably is not a bad idea to make sure someone else can pick up the slack. So, okay, both of these are gonna go to peers. Uh, and that one as well. That one won't even give me a good weapon. Man. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, is it, that reminds me actually. Since the last, my last recording session, I looked up some of the payoffs from forging. And it turns out I was totally wrong about there only being four. I mean, I think some of them are only four possibilities, and it might also be like that in Dark Dawn, which could be what threw me off. I'm not sure on that one. But in this game, at least, a lot of the forgeable items are five or six possible payoffs, including, notably, Dark Matter. Let's see. Well, I want to use Lift here. Lift!
Hmm. What's this way? Dead end. Okay, so this is the part where we could have only done it with Isaac. And the enemies are maybe harder to reflect that? I don't know, we'll see. Nope, they're not. Maybe on the next floor then. I mean, then again, these are arguably reasonable enemies for com for coming right after the Venus. Had we cut for had we come here directly after the Jupiter Lighthouse? Arguably, maybe I should have done this one before I did the other two. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's not. It's not that important. Iris Rogue. Increases luck and restores PP. And gives fire resistance. Oh wow, that's a lot of luck increase. I really want to put that on Shiva. Uh, although she loses her storm gear, which is amazing. But... For the role I've sort of assigned her, this is pretty much the best thing I can hope for. So, um... The storm coat. Gear, whatever. Seriously? I mean, I think this is still probably better than some of the stuff just because of those massive resistances. But whatever. Whatever. I don't want to do the. I don't want to do the unique brand of problem solving that is involved in trying to determine whether a plus thirty to three out. Resistance to three elements is worth a loss of physical defense. Let's see, I want more lift. Because Isaac lifts. And he wants to know do you even lift? Because he does. Oh, does he? Okay. So, there's a genie here! The very last one. But also, um, I'm not sure which one of these I want to lift. I might, I may have to do this room twice. Okay, for the purpose of getting to the Ginny, although probably not the purpose of completing the room, this should be safe to lift. I would rather get the Ginny first and have to redo it than some other combination. So, you know, let's act with that in mind. Oh wait, I can actually hop over here and get that box. Which is probably a good starting point. It is... a fl firebrand. Which I don't think is probably not as good. Oh no, it's totally better than Isaac's axe, actually. I guess that makes sense. I mean... The, I'm Outside of a few forgeable equipments and the soul blade, I think... Pretty much most of the best equipment in the game is in this area, so, okay, that's plus 22. That is plus less than 20. I think we have a winner. Although, odds are, Garrett's thing is probably not as strong as the giant sword. Also, for that matter, are you using a light blade? You, you're using the Masamune. Okay, then. So that's going to end up probably on Ivan once Garrett is done with it, which I think is all but inevitable. Uh, are you going to run away from me? Okay, I can't even go from here. Please don't run away from me, that would be kind of annoying. Um, save my game. Okay, it didn't run. That's nice. You are, after all, the final Ginny! So, you know, let's kill your ass. With all the things. I mean, I mean, Flume Edge is gonna deal more damage even though it's weak against Nettle, so. Hmm. If I hit it with a Megado, that might have just straight up killed it. But at the same time, that would have been a run of. Wow. BRB! Time for round two, you bastard! Guess what? We snuck up on you! You're not even gonna get a chance to run away before we've killed you this time! Yeah, pretty much. 
that's how it's gonna go. It was really fast though. It was faster than half my party. And while Isaac is not winning, winning any speed records, he's not what I would call slow either. Like, he is a res he's respectably fast. If but not exceptionally so. And we have it! The final Ginny! Thy name is Gale. I have no idea what you do. Blast enemies with the wind strike? Okay then. Uh really? Uh okay, I don't really get that. But whatever, it works. I mean, it works. Okay, now, is there anything in the back of this room? Nothing there, or there, or there. So... I need to basically just cross that. I can do that by... Can I hop across here? I can, but that won't, that won't actually help. Okay, I need to come in on the far left. Then I can go back here and come over here on either side of this. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Just go out and in again. Turn it off and on again. Except in this case I'm turning it off in different locations. Or no, rather I'm turning it on in different locations. Turning it off in different locations doesn't make much sense, does it? Hmm. Well, whatever. We're doing it this way, that's the important bet. I wish I could remember where that place was where I could get the apple by using catch. I guess I could look it up, but... I don't know, I mean, it's, honestly, it's not that important to me. Uh, frankly, but... Okay, I probably should have assigned attacks in the opposite order I just did there, but you know, it still worked out. Then... wait. No, I want to lift on the other side. Almost screwed up there. That would have sucked. Now I can go over here, up here, across the thing I was about to block, across here, and then across the other thing I was in danger of blocking. Yeah, the Ginny and the way, pro way to progress are mutually exclusive here. That much is clear. Okay, well, really? That's a little bit underwhelming. Also, that experience payout is a little bit underwhelming. But you know, so is everything else compared to the Wonderbird. Hmm. And I am around level 40 now, right? Yeah. I th I, I'm definitely a high enough level to deal with the boss of the game now. I'm not 100% sure if I'm prepared to deal with the Earth Guardian. Because that is really just kind of all sorts of bad news. Okay, I want to see what's on the other side, because it might not be a dead end. And honestly, I could use the extra experience from fighting. Although I haven't fought anything yet, and I was honestly expecting to run into something literally as I said that. I mean, there's nothing here. Including monsters, apparently. Which is a little bit odd, because this is a big empty room. Like, there should be monsters in here. Am I just getting lucky, or is there, like, a glitch here? Because I sincerely doubt it. this is by design. Uh, okay, this is definitely the end. I'm gonna leave off here, then we'll fight the elemental lord of... Again, I'm pretty sure it's win next time! Spoiler alert, you already know the name of this boss. Until then, have a great day. Bye!